Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. I've got my RV7 here. Um, we're going to do an after sunset flight to kind of show the lights on this plane. Uh, this is a really nice plane for this type of lighting conditions. Because of that right there, that tail light is everything. Um, a lot of planes will have decent light packages on it, but they don't have anything on the tail. And that really allows for uh, flying in darker conditions as you might with other, other planes and this plane flies nice, it's sporty, it can fly sporty, it can fly scale. Um, this is a really nice plane. Tail dragger can be challenging. Just like that. I just had a nice takeoff with this earlier. Probably should have videotaped that one, but oh well. We're up. Let's fly. You can see that tail light. It just shows up at just about almost every angle. I'm even 90 degrees and I can see it here. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. But works great. Well, this plane flies good too. I'm flying here with takeoff laps at this point. Let's bring them up. Uh, and it has telemetry. So this is one of those planes where I just basically I have the timer programmed but that's more of a hey by the way you've hit this much I fly this on the battery. I have a uh, 4000, I'm sorry a 2200 4S 30C smart pack in here. All the more you need for this plane. Um, this plane goes pretty quickly on 4S. I'm probably half throttle there. So it goes goes good at full. That was a full burst there. Bring it around. Do a full pass. Full throttle pass. There you go. It hums pretty good. Really nice evening for flying. We have a very light at this point east wind. Well, it's coming right down the runway. That's a better, slightly better coordinated turn. Put it in safe and check my telemetry. I'm gonna, looks like I got enough for probably a touch and go here. We'll do that. like any warbird almost you do want to bring this in with a little bit of power slow descent gonna bounce it that's not too bad let's see if I can do one more touch and go yet I had a better one earlier again probably filming the wrong flight but let's try this again I got enough battery I think I need a little bit better approach here. <laughs> it is very hard to get this plane to just settle on its wheels. It's it's the wheels are so hard. The one big complaint I have about this plane, I don't know why 
E-Flight makes wheels as hard as they are. Sure, they'll last forever, but if they're a challenge to land, I, I don't know about some people, I like taking off and landing. It's something I like to do a lot of. I do practice a lot of touch and goes. This plane is a challenge to get a greasy landing. It just, especially with that kind of approach, it'll just bounce like that all the time. All right. Better stop yapping here and get this set up for a landing. So I'll take off flaps and we'll bring in with landing flaps. Let's see if we can get a decent landing here. Those lights. So nice. You'd lose that plane almost without those right now. There, not bad for this plane. I'll take that. Uh, this one, just like a warbird, once the tail drops, it gets squirrely, so you got to be Johnny on the spot. Of course you have. Thrust reverse on this thing, and I always forget that. You can employ that in landing. I use that more for a couple of jets where I have that on, but it should almost be a necessity on jets. But at any rate, there it is the uh, E Flight 1.1 um, meter RV7. Again, flying a 2200 4S 30C. All, of course, um, from Horizon Hobby and E-Flight. Thanks again, folks, for watching Mark with Ultimate RC. Like and subscribe.